Hi folks, just a quick video for you tonight. Um, I'm just getting back into retro gaming. I've got a couple of Commodore Amiga A1200s that I'm in the process of restoring. And a uh, quick job tonight is to replace the buttons in this uh, mouse. Um, it's not in the best of condition. Uh, it's yellowed and got a few scratches here and there. But um, I'm going to use this one just as day-to-day -day mouse and get a, you know, maybe an original tank mouse or, or one in better condition. Uh, to keep with the actual computers, but like I say, this one will just be for day-to-day -day use. Now, the problem with this one is the um, left mouse button is really bad, um, and the right one's not much better. So I'm just going to replace the switches in this tonight, and it's just a quick uh, video to show you how to do that. Uh, so I've already removed the two screws from here, um, and then it's just a case of lifting that off. Uh, you can see the original colour there, nice and white, compared to the creamy yellow colour there and there was an additional two screws just in here uh, once you've removed those two screws just uh, take the cable out and then the PCB itself uh, just lifts out obviously just um, watch you don't lose the mouse ball <coughs> for those younger viewers out there that's what used to have before optical mice uh, this is an ideal opportunity as well to to give it a clean as you can see there's some crud around the the wheels so just give that a, a rub I probably shouldn't be using a screwdriver but never mind it's a bit better than it was so yeah as you can see here well hopefully you'll be able to see um the left mouse button here is completely shot it's uh it's hardly protruding out the top and it's really really soft, not tactile at all and uh, let's see the, the right mouse button is slightly better but uh, they both really need replacing and you know it's a good good practice to do that and it's, it's a quick easy job to do so um, we'll crack on and do that um, all I'm going to be using for this is um, a desolder pump and some fresh uh, solder and of course a solder man, which is currently warming up, or has been warming up. So we'll just um, put some fresh um, solder on these joints. I'll just do them all just now. And that'll give uh, a bit more thermal mass and a bit a bit more to, to actually get rid of. And we'll just use with diesel the pump. To get rid of that. And not using excessive force, but just a gentle wiggle, and just pull that out. Okay, you don't want to give it too much force. In fact, there you go, that is just disintegrated. There's absolutely nothing left of it. Yeah, you don't want to use excessive force, you're only just breaking off the, the small amounts of uh, sole that are still holding the pins in. Now, just a quick inspection. I'm sure that those are okay. Now I got um, a job lot of switches, you know, like uh, from China. It was like 120 switches, 12 different varieties, 10 of each. And it was like, you know, what, a quid and a half delivered to the UK here. So, And it's just a case of uh, popping these in where you've just taken the uh, old ones out. Good. Oh, I've just put the older one back in. Don't want to do that. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, fun. There you go. As you can hear, much nicer sounding. Now, the, um, the way these leads are formed means that they, they actually retain them. Um, so you don't have to hold them from behind normally. If you've cleaned your joints enough and, um, you know, put them in properly, they'll, they'll just sit. And then just re-solder the joints. Now I'm just checking for cleaned. Um, but those all look good. I'll turn the iron off. And then it's just a case of reassembling. So I'll just leave the ball in there just now. And then drop the PCB in. Excuse me, I do have a cold just now, I do apologise. For if I'm sniffing. Put some of it. And then just rip the cable in. Just tuck it on the side there. And then this one comes around here. And the way this fits on is it just sort uh, of goes in and then sort of pushes forward. And then we'll just replace the two screws that hold the, the two halves of the case together. And that's us. So we'll just move all this crap away. And if we listen, nice satisfying clicks there. And um, I'll give that a test in a minute, but I don't foresee any problems. Hope that might, uh, little video might help you. Um, especially when you're doing your restorations on Amiga gear or any other vintage uh, computers. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up and uh, please subscribe. Thanks a lot and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.